Good morning, folks. You are looking back 10 years ago to one in a series of X-10 and higher solar flares. This one knocked out power in Sweden in 2003 like the 1989 blast did in Quebec. Neither of them matched the 1859 mega flare known as the Carrington event. All those things are explained in my video, How to Watch the Sun, but I'm mentioning them today because of an interesting Astrobiology magazine article discussing how the interactions between such blasts and the magnetic fields of exoplanets is revealing interesting ways of determining suitability of life, not by atmospheric chemistry, proximity to the sun, or presence of water, but via protective viability of that planet's magnetic shield. Also got linked for you, JPL's State of Flux product. Not ashamed to mention I spent an hour on here last night. They've got before and after shots updated with new ones every few days and coming with a terrific plot function of every such example on the map and with preview photos so you know what you're clicking on. Around the world with weather, it is indeed the rainy season here. Best of luck with that. It is impossible to forecast beyond bring your umbrella. Eric, south of Mexico, already affecting coastlines and may take a swipe at Baja before he leaves. Noah, also tracking a low probability of golf development. Chances are low because it's under siege. I'll explain in a moment. First, we got to come across the pond to Portugal where major heat warnings are in place as African air shifts north as you see near the west coast. West coast of the U.S. should be dry with that spinning counterclockwise low out in the Pacific concentrating precipitation north of Vancouver up to Alaska. Now back to the Gulf low under siege. All the energy that would be building that storm is shooting up the eastern U.S. causing major, major flooding. Clockwise spinning high pressure on the right. Central low driving counterclockwise meeting over MR2's house in Georgia. And this should clearly show how the equalization of pressure, temperature, moisture, and electric potential between air masses plays out at the convergence of those masses. Make sure you're keeping your eye on local weather conditions. Space weather. Folks, the flaring is teasing us with mid-level sea flares and mass. As they turn to face Earth squarely this weekend, the leading group on the right still has its polarity perfectly divided. Now coming to the big boys, 1785 and 87. Both now Beta Gamma Delta. Noah's report from last night lists only one, but since that time the morphing has produced delta regions in each, with at least one building delta spot in each region as well. When looking at an intensity gram, one might think CMEs and coronal holes were all that twerked the solar wind. In reality, it's as non-homogeneous as many of the SDO views detailing subtle coronal differences and energetic surges. This point is clarified by the solar wind shift in polarity due to nothing other than a magnetic angle of the arriving particles. They swirl on their way to Earth anyway. Now around the New Day UTC, you're going to see the BZ up top and red tipping south as a clearly separate particle wave shows simultaneous arrival on the orange density. When the southern magnetic wind hits, it can be worse than a CME. This one appears to be having moderate effects only so far. KP index showing building instability. Quakes, this is the first six pointer not to have a coronal hole or umbral opening in over a month. Argentina took the only other quake to even hit five with the umbral field closed. That shape is indeed unstable as we mentioned yesterday, it's tilting and to my surprise I see an equatorial coronal hole coming in red. Using magnetic connectivity, up top my cursor is circling those big sunspots facing Earth. Coronal hole view at the bottom reveals her hiding place just behind those large spots, the light and magnetic loops from that big region actually shielding her from view right now. Quake Watch might be in order when she faces Earth, especially as the geocentric and heliocentric event is just days away. Earth, Sun, Mercury. Somebody call the Helio viewer dudes and wake their asses up, please. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.